Hello, everybody. So today we're going to talk about the animal camouflage. And you know that the camouflage, it means what? When the animal or the colors of and patterns of an animal's body are the same as the colors and patterns of the place where the animal is hiding. He won. Before starting reading this passage, please look at this, this animal. So what do we call it? Can you guess? Can you guess? Oh, right, it's tiger. So can you guess what, what is he is doing, he or it? Yeah. That's right. Tiger is hiding here. Through what? Through grass, tall grass. And I think that he is what? He is creeping silently and he don't want anyone to see him or it. The tiger is what? Trying to catch its meal okay by surprise so let's read this passage to get to know why is he is why is he hiding through tall grass okay so let's start looking for a meal or you can read it like this way, looking for a meal, looking for a meal, looking for a meal. It's right to say looking for a meal or looking, looking, looking for a meal, looking for a meal, looking for a meal, okay? So notice, guys, that we can read looking in two ways looking for a meal without or with the g is silent here looking for a meal or we can say looking for a meal so looking for a meal looking for a meal this is the title of this passage okay so animals which eat other animals also use camouflage aha so when animals want to catch their meals they use camouflage and you know that camouflage the way or the animal when the animal hide himself and or changes uh, its color according to uh, to be the same like the like the place where he's hiding okay so a tiger is here one of the largest animals in the world and it's known as the largest wild cat okay it's one kind of the cats and it, it's, it's the largest in the world you can say world or world world or world world in American English and world in British English. Okay, guys. So, largest here is what? Who can remind me with the kind of, with the superlative and comparative adjectives? Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Largest is superlative. So, a tiger is the largest wild cat. Largest is what? Is a superlative adjective. Superlative adjective. You know that superlative means we can compare one thing with a group of things. A group of things. Okay. So largest T is superlative adjective to describe the cat. This kind of cats, okay? Is it what? Tiger. 
So let's write here that largest or largest, largest or largest is used to describe cat. It's what? A compar superlative adjective. So let's write here next to it that it's a superlative adjective. This is the contraction of the word adjective, okay? Superlative adjective, describe the tiger. Uh-huh. So, it has orange fur and black strips. It refers to what? It here refers to what? So, it... It here, it here refers to tiger, refers to tiger. So, it here refers to tiger. It is what? A subject pronoun. Do you remember the pronouns, the English language pronouns? You know that we talked about that in details. It, a subject, pro, noun, refers, to tiger. Okay, so we call this reference. Okay, guys, it's too easy. So, it has orange fur and black stripes. If I ask you, if I ask you what is or how is tiger, you're gonna say it has orange fur and black strips. So what is the meaning of fur? What is the meaning of fur, teacher? I don't know, teacher, what is the meaning of fur? Fur, it means what? Let's write here the meaning of fur. Fur. The cover of the animals, okay? The cover or the hair. That covers an animal body, okay? An animal. So this is the meaning of fur, okay? So, when a tiger creeps, aha, uh -huh, creeps, there is a song that I just, I just remember it right now. The, um, I think it is um, the spiders creeping, creep, creep, creep. Um, so uh, it's like the spider when he creeps, you know, spiders creeping. Okay. Whatever. And a uh, tiger here creeps silently through tall grass. Aha. So creeps means he is. Focusing and he is trying to catch its meal by surprise. He don't to pay attention to his 
meow. Okay? Like a deer or other animals, you know, that he prefer the tiger prefers to eat deer. Um, so it's very hard to see the tiger through the tall grass. So this is what we call a camouflage, okay? So the tiger's strips are good camouflage, are what? A good camouflage. So they blend in with the tall grass. So teacher, what is the meaning of blend? Do you remember the consonant blend in our phonics book? Consonant blend, consonant blend, consonant blend. We have two or more consonants, they come together with no vowel in between. But here, blend it means what? Blend means mix two things together so they become one thing. Aha, uh -huh. let's write here the meaning of blend. It means So this is the meaning of blend, mix two things together so they become one thing. So the tiger strips, the tiger strips, they are like the tall grass, so they we can't see it well through the grass. So this is a good camouflage, okay? When the tiger sees a deer or other tasty animal, aha, so when he sees a, tie, a deer or a tasty animal it jumps out of the grass and catches its meal by surprise so this is the way that he eats or catch its meal so meal you know meal it means what one of the three meals that you have in your day food Food, for example, dinner or lunch. So let's write here next to it the meaning of meal. Yeah. Food. Okay. Uh, for example, dinner or lunch. Okay. So that's it about the tiger and how he use or how he is looking for a meal. <clears throat> uh -huh, sorry here. Yeah. Um, I remember that, you know, looking for, it means what? Look for, it's not like look at. Look at, it means see. And look for, it means search. Let's write here the meaning of Look for, it means what? Look for, it means search. Okay, guys? And it's a verb, you know? Looking for, it's a verb, meal, noun. And here, I want someone to remind me. Okay, who can remind me with what kind of pronoun is this? 
its meal. Meal here is a noun. And it's what? Great job. It's an adjective pronoun. Let's write here. It's an, an ad, adjective pronoun. Pro, pro. Huh. It's an adjective pronoun. Okay, one of the adjective pronouns that is used what? It's meal. It's here. It's, uh, it's like an adjective is used to describe the meal. Okay, it's an adjective pronoun. Okay, so that's it about the tiger and the camouflage that related or that is used by the tiger. So at the end of this lesson, I want you to to tell me what why does a tiger need a camouflage? Why does a tiger need a camouflage? It's too easy to answer it. He needed to what? To catch its meal to eat and to stay alive. So this is one of the ways that is used to be alive. And that's it, okay? So thank you for listening to me, goodbye.